Hi, I'm Dan Emmert, a field agronomist with Pioneer in southwest Indiana. After the 2018 growing season, frog eye leaf spot is on a lot of people's minds. And as we get out and walk soybean fields, that's definitely something that we're looking for. But there's a couple look-alikes that we need to be aware of to make sure that we're getting an accurate identification. The first is phylostica leaf spot, and the second is a crop response from herbicides containing a solvent that kind of speckles up the leaves a little bit. So let's take a closer look and, and see what we can find. At first glance, we might be concerned about the spots on these leaves because they're light tan in the middle and surrounded by darker margins. That's one of the things that we worry about with frog eye leaf spot. If you look closer, you can see a lot of these are irregularly shaped. It's over the whole trifoliate. Let's take a look at the bigger picture. You can see that uh, they're speckling on pretty much every plant. Look down lower. It's mainly on the lower leaves. A lot of our newer growth looks okay. But also, check this out, on these newer trifoliates, they're speckling, but it's only on the outsides of those leaves. So this newer growth that's expanded is not showing the speckling. That's one of the symptoms that we can look at to tell us that it came from a herbicide application. Another thing we can check is look at the weeds surrounding it. See how these are all speckled as well? That's another giveaway that the speckles that we're seeing are from the solvent applied with our metolachlor. Phylostica will also be light tan in the middle with dark edges around the lesions. But according to the Crop Protection Network, the best way to distinguish it from frog eye is to look for dark specks in the middle of the lesion. These specks are called pycnidia, and phylostica will have them, and frog eye leaf spot lesions won't. As we learned in 2018, frog eye leaf spot is a disease that can justify an R3 fungicide application. But it's important to properly identify the lesions we find so that we're not fooled into making a bad decision. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please contact your local Pioneer sales representative. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.